Well, hello to everyone out there, especially mothers. It's Mother's Day weekend and a perfect opportunity to share my joy of motherhood. You know, motherhood is both filled with ups and downs because raising kids is an ever learning process, but it also reaps a certain type of joy. And for me, it was the joy of witnessing my son's growth due to certain decisions I have made in my own life. Now, I'm not saying I have done everything right. I have made some crazy decisions, but I did make some decisions that were right and that have put my son in a better position in life. And when you carry the responsibility of another life, you start to align your own life in a selfless way that will allow them to reap good things. And the reason why I go to school, strive to improve in my own career, and push myself to go beyond my fears of failure is because of my son. And yes, I do aim to live a prosperous life. I also am determined to be an example that others can follow, including my own child. And regardless of what I have been through up to this point, my son needs to witness my recovery and redemption so he will not easily cower when life throws his best punch to him. Now, of course, you know I am a single mom. I have talked about that in previous videos, and I am one of those people that I love sharing my story. Um, I really don't too much care about um, any boundaries when it comes to it. I try to be a transparent person, and I do understand certain things are for certain or audience, but I do want to be this type of person that don't mind being an open book because I know there are people that are going through things in life and they do need to see that example. Hey, I can make it through. So I'm very well aware of my position as a black single mother within a society. You know, there's so many stigmas, stigmas and stereotypes. I'm sorry, guys, get my words mixed up. There are so many stigmas and stereotypes attached to this position alone. But I feel like I really do not have to prove anything to those around me. And I have felt, you know, that way before that I had to prove this. I had to prove that to show that, hey, I'm a great mother, even though I'm by myself, that I'm not the show maker or anything like that. And all that really was just going on inside my head. And I had to really just, I think yesterday, I think I was praying about that, that I had to let that go. That I don't want to get, you know, be on this roller coaster that I have to prove anything. But I do have many reasons why I push myself to go on and to try to do greater things. So I don't want to be this type of mom that feels like I can only do one thing. Like my children is everything. That's not saying my son is not everything, but I do have capacity to do more. I do want to show my son it's more to life you know, then this, that we can do things, we can go over here, we can succeed, we can actually build a life that we're comfortable, you know, in. So being a mother has really fueled me to just go after it. You know, not sit in the house, keep moaning about, oh, this is what happened in my life, I'm a single mom, I do this, this, and that. And I have done that. I had periods when I have done that. But I also had to wake myself up and say, hey, Shakur, you want better? Go do better. And the fact of having my son, it allowed me to just say, you know what? I can go after this. I can do this because I want my son to see greatness and I want him to be great. I want him to fulfill the call in his life. And I want him to see what it's like to fall down and pick yourself right back up. Well, to allow God to pick, her, pick you right back up. I'm saying that. So yes, I had some obstacles that I had to face in this journey. Um, my son had to see me when I was frustrated. He had to see my tears. And, you know, I wouldn't say he had to, had to see. Like, I really was trying to, you know, keep those parts of my life private from him. I know as parents, we do that. But in reality, that's what we go through in life. Everything is not going to be crystal clear or rainbows and kind of candy. We're going to have hard moments. So my son witnessed those moments in my own life. He met, he witnessed my mishaps, mistakes, you know, frustration, tears, but he also witnessed my success and also, you know, witnessed my happiness. And I'm still working towards, you know, being that woman of God, that person that God wants me to be, working on my own self. But it's a process. It's a journey. And regardless of my position, and I'm going to say this, I still have no excuse. I do not have an excuse. Just because I'm a single mom, I don't have an excuse. Just because I'm a black woman, I still don't have an excuse. My life is really up to me and what I want to do and the choices that I need to make. 
And also when I say this too as well, regardless of what society is saying, what the culture is saying, you know, can't nobody really stop me from going the extra mile. To be really honest, can't nobody really stop me. If you say, oh, because you're this skin color, you can't do this. Or because you're a mom, you can't do that. Or you're a single mom, you can't go over here. Well, I just find another path. Maybe that's not where I need to be. I'm not going to be discouraged by it because I have to learn how to overcome things. And, you know, we talk about we have a great God, but sometimes we treat him like he's not that great. Like he can't help you overcome certain things. He can't turn your life around. And that's not how I want to live. I say I have faith in someone. I got to have real faith in this person. I have to have real faith in God and show, hey, I don't care what's going on in the world and what's on their mind and, and you know, how they're in their feelings. God, whatever you have for me, I'm going to go after that. I'm going to take it. And also, lastly, motherhood requires a certain level of maturity. And that's not to say you must grow up quickly. And I understand for teenage moms, some of them did have to grow up to a certain level. But I don't want to focus so much on the pace. But you must not refuse to grow. That's the thing. Don't just refuse to just grow into a new level or to grow as a mom. Don't refuse that continue to grow. And it may not be a faster pace than someone else, but continue to grow. Um, I'll give an example. Okay, maybe you have not been putting out clothes out the night before and your mon- your mornings always be rushed. But let's say one night you actually do it. And the next day, the morning goes smoothly. Applaud yourself for that. You know, pat yourself on the back. Hey, I'm making one step closer to doing better. So I know it's not a big example, but you know, it's similar to that. Don't beat yourself up. You know, take that one step. As long as you're moving forward, then you're making progress. And being a mother has really afforded me to learn some hard lessons that are actually bringing the best out of me. And that is why I'm grateful to God for that, for carrying me through this journey and giving me the gift of motherhood. I know how I got into motherhood, but it's still a journey. You know, my son's still a blessing. I can't look at him and say, oh, he's... He's the problem or, you know, you're not this type of child because you wasn't born in a marriage or you're like the scum of the earth. No, he's not like that. He's still a blessing. What I did was wrong with how he got here, but he still himself is a blessing. And motherhood is still a wonderful adventure. It's still a wonderful experience. No matter how you got started in it, it's still a beautiful experience if you allow it to be. If you allow it to be. So that's what I want to say for this week, guys. It's Mother's Day weekend. And I am ready to just, you know, celebrate myself, basically. <laughs> I'm going to still have my son because I, you know, I look at just celebrating with my son. It just makes it so much wonderful for me. You know, I don't have to be, you know, by myself really on that day, but just celebrating, having time with him. I think it's a beautiful thing. We're going to go see Dr. Strange 2 tonight. You know, I am a Marvel fan. I mean, I like every little thing that they do, but they do have great storytelling. So I have to give them that. <laughs> Well, we're going to go see it tonight, so I'm enjoying this. I'm just kicking my Mother's Day weekend off great. So, if you enjoy this video or other content you see on this channel, just click like, subscribe, and comment. Share your thoughts. I'd like to hear from you. What is your conversation about? Um, how has a mother fueled your journey? How has it fueled your drive? How um how it affecting your everyday life. So I hope y'all have a great weekend, great day. Until next time, see ya.